Hello there, and welcome to this uh, little video I, I'm shooting uh, uh, as the time of me finding out about Tony Scott's death uh, happens. So I, I found out just moments ago through Twitter that Tony Scott, uh, Ridley Scott's brother, committed suicide, jumped off a bridge in, um, near Los Angeles in San Pedro area. And uh, this one hit me um, kind of hard. Uh, Ridley Scott, as many of you know, is my favorite director of all time. And I always admired um, the collaboration he had with his brother, Tony. Um, and it's always hit me my underappreciation of what Tony Scott's films were, which they were really fantastic films and it, it it always seemed to strike me that that collaboration with your brother like that would have to be a pretty awesome thing so it always led me to believe that it was a rather happy time for him this kind of awesome collaboration with with your brother that you know this you know this kind of connection they had and doing Scott free productions and you know pursuing you know their dream of just creating great films and it just hit me hard that you really don't know what's going on in someone's life um, appearances uh, they're deceiving you really don't know and this just came as a huge shock to me that he would do such a thing as it take his life um, evidently there was a suicide note in his car and I um, mean it's just comes to shock at me at age 68 um, past he died from suicide August 19th the day as I'm recording this um, born June 21st 1944 on uh, the United Kingdom and uh, he's had some great films um, as I look over his IMDB you know he's, uh, unstoppable he did you know Top Gun um, he was a big part of the numbers TV series which I'm a big fan of Crimson Tide Days of Thunder I mean the list goes on in, in films that I've always loved, but I never really followed him as director. I always um, admired the collaboration he had with Ridley and always wondered, what's that like? What's that collaboration like? And I'm, I'm, I'm really wondering how Ridley is dealing with this, you know. Um... You know, if he questions, was he there for him, or if there were warning signs. I, It's just a hard thing to deal with. I mean, suicide of any kind, but especially someone that I would think they're fairly close together as far as um, relationship and things like that as they work so close together. Um, it's, I don't know, it's a, just a, I just want to get my thoughts out as, as far as just initial impressions, you know, not initial impressions, but just blow my heart out and uh, express my, my sadness and grief towards this loss. Uh, he was a great director and uh, seems from the outward appearance, anyway, a great brother that uh, Ridley, was, Ridley was lucky to have. And uh, I hope he didn't feel underappreciated in the, the bigger shadow of Ridley. I hope he felt that he did have his uh, his place in the spotlight, so to speak, and that uh, he made an impact on this world with the films he created, his uh, much different styled films, I should say, than Ridley, much different style, and he will be sorely missed, uh, sorely missed. And, um, 
yeah, so this is just terrible news. And uh, I wanted to record some thoughts about it. Uh, my, my prayers go out to the Scott family, to Ridley Scott, to Tony. Um, may he rest in peace. Uh, and uh, may, may, may the Scott family be able to to uh, to go past this and uh, to go on and uh, continue um, honoring Tony with future films. I'd be curious, you know, dedications, things like that, and uh, I'm curious what kind of remembrances we'll have of Tony as the years go by. Um, you will be missed, Tony Scott, and I'm sorry to see you leave in this way, especially. You were a young guy at 68, and many more years to come, but sadly, those will not be here. So, we'll miss you, and uh, that's all for now. So, thanks for watching.